Hello students, welcome back. Uh, we shall continue with the part 4 of uh, Business Economics MCQs. And uh, in this uh, set we shall discuss the MCQs related to markets. Like we know, markets in economics is uh, divided into two parts, the perfect competition market and the imperfect competition markets. Let's start with the uh, first question, that is question number 31. Which of the following is not an essential condition of pure competition? Now, we know that uh, large number of uh, buyers and sellers is an essential condition. Please understand the question. Here the question is, uh, it should be an essential condition. So, large number of buyers and sellers is an essential condition. Homogeneous products is an essential condition. Freedom to enter and exit is also an essential condition. But absence of uh, transportation cost is not an essential condition. So the answer for this question would be absence of transportation cost. Question number 32. The shape of the demand curve faced by a firm in perfect competition market is. Generally, when we take the demand curve, when we consider the x-axis and the y-axis, we take the price on the y-axis and uh, quantity demanded on the x-axis, the demand curve is generally negatively sloped. But when we are talking about the perfect competition market, the shape of the demand curve in the perfect competition market is, is generally uh, horizontal. And uh, here what happens is uh, the price is equal to the demand, quantity demanded. And it is also equal to the marginal revenue, which is in turn equal to the average revenue. So one line represents one, two, three, four concepts. So the answer for this question is the shape of the demand curve faced by a perfect competition is always horizontal. So the answer for this is horizontal. Let's go to the next uh, question. Which of the following is not, is not a character characteristic of a price taker? We know that the, in the perfect competition market, the both the buyers and the sellers are price takers. So here what happens is, uh, like we saw in the previous question, average revenue is equal to the price, total revenue is equal to price into revenue. Uh, negatively demand curve, no, it is a horizontal demand curve and marginal revenue is equal to price. So the answer for this question is C, where, which is not a characteristic of price taking market, that is the perfect competition market. Let's go to the next question, question number 34. Which of the following is the first order condition for a profit, for the profit of a firm to be maximum? See the first and the foremost condition to uh, make profits in business is the marginal cost should be equal to the marginal revenue. This is the first condition for a firm to start earning profits. So here the answer is option B, MC is equal to MR. Let's go to question number 35. In which of the following market structure is the degree of control over uh, the price is price of its product by a firm very large? Let me uh, repeat the question once again. In which of the following market structure is the degree of control? So here we are talking about the control the producer can exercise over the pricing strategy. And uh, in uh, imperfect competition, there are a lot of them. So this cannot be the answer. Oligopoly, uh, we call it sticky pricing. This cannot be the option uh, answer. And perfect competition, we know there is absolutely no control over the price from the producer or by the uh, buyer. So the answer for this question is the monopoly market. Monopoly market goes to an extent, the monopolist will go to an extent where he can uh, even discriminate the price. In For different segments of market, he can sell the products at different price. So the answer for this question is monopoly. Let's go to question number 36. Oligopoly uh, market industry, uh, oligopolistic industry are characterized by so there are four uh, features that are given. If we have uh, studied the four uh, characteristic features of oligopoly market, answering this question would be very easy. Few dominant firms and uh, substantial barrier to entry. So this is the most defining uh, uh, 
you know characteristic feature of oligopoly market where there are few firms this is condition number 1 condition number 2 is there is there is substantial barriers to entry and others cannot enter easily the other option this could be the answer but let us check the other uh, other options also a few large firms and no entry barriers no this cannot the option b can cannot be the answer a large number of small firms and no entry barriers no there are only few firms one dominant firm and low entry barriers no even this is not the of uh, answer so the right uh, answer for this question is option a where there are few dominant firms and there is substantial barriers to entry let's go to question number 37 price discrimination will be profitable see the moment we talk about this concept of price discrimination it means that we are talking about monopoly market will be profitable only if the elasticity of demand is different see this is a uh, uh, knowledge based question like we discussed in the first series there are few questions for which we should know the answer straight away so here when elasticity of demand is different from one segment and other segment then it is profitable for the monopolist to have price discrimination let's go to question number 38 if the average cost is higher now let's be very clear we are talking about the average cost if the average cost is higher than the average revenue it means that here ac is greater than ar if ac is greater than ar then the firm incurs dash in any condition when the cost is greater than the revenue then the obvious choice is loss so here the answer is abnormal loss question number 39 the demand curve of a monopoly firm will be now monopoly firm we know that the demand curve will always be negatively sloped we are taking the quantity demanded on the x axis and price on the y axis as uh, the price increases the demand for the goods decreases so here it is a downward sloping curve so the answer for this question is option b let's go to the last question of this series that is question number 40 the market for the ultimate consumer is known as so here we are talking about the distribution channel we have the producer producer say supplies it to the wholesaler wholesaler supplies it to the retailer retailer gives it to the consumer so the ultimate market for the consumer to purchase his products is the retail market and the option here is option d and this would be the right answer so with this we come to the end of uh, 10 questions on markets if you have any doubts kindly leave your uh, doubts in the comment section we will get back to you thank you so much